was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in 2010. Um, my primary concern is I guess I don't know where the slope will stop. I kind of worry about once you stop focusing on the rights of an individual um, and you see someone who has a pre-existing condition is maybe not quite as important as someone that doesn't, where does it stop? And um, you know, the protections for allowing someone with a pre-existing condition to keep their insurance. Um, the lifetime limit is a huge concern to me. Um, one of the medications that I receive, the main medication I receive, uh, costs $15,000 every eight weeks. Um, and doing the math on that, just that one medication alone, you know, nine years, and I've hit a million dollars, and you know, would I be out of any sort of health care at that point? Um, that medication that I receive is what allows me to maintain you know, a sense of normalcy. It's what allows me to be a husband and a dad and an employee. Um, without that medication, I'd be in a lot of trouble. What would you do as a family if all of a sudden you hit that that's ceiling? And We'd... I don't know. I really don't know. We'd, uh, we'd try to hold on as good as we could. There's a certain group of, of people in this country that seem to think that people that, um, that are sick or, or that they're just trying to mooch off the system or something like that. But I, I think that most people, like myself, want nothing more than to be normal, to work, uh, to be a contributing member of society, to be a taxpayer, um, to be part of this whole thing we call America. Yeah, I mean it's it's scary. You don't you don't know what what you would do. I mean, we can't do that on my salary for sure. You know, and if something happened where we lost jobs and we lost our insurance coverage, then what? Because then he has a pre-existing condition. You know, with that that language in the law is the scariest part for us. Mm -hmm.